you girl Misty and welcome back to my channel. I know I have been away for a minute, well a bit more than a minute, but I am finally back. Um, I know I keep promising to be better at uploading my vlogs on time and vlogging more, um, but I will try my best guys, like I am actually going to try. My so I'm going to come back to you guys starting a relationship series. I think I have three topics so far that I'm going to talk about on different vlogs but um, yes it's not in any like order it's just as it comes to me I just speak about it. To today the first um, topic of this series is, is um, why the tag is important and my tag I mean like are we dating, are we talking, are we exclusive, are we not, are we fucking like what are we what are we doing is more or less the central issue of this topic in this generation now that i feel like people do not really get into relationships anymore no one is really getting into relationships anymore it's always like oh we just had a thing as my nigga drake <laughs> said we live in a generation of not being in love and not being together but acting like we're together you know that's 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 what it is these days you know is that oh yeah we're not official but you know he's babe she's babe i'm not saying that you know not naming your relationship or not giving it a tag is like the worst thing or is the bad thing for some people it works for some people it works and that's fine and good but for some other people it, do it doesn't work for some ladies they want the tag but then another issue with this tag thing is that some people just want the tag it's not all about the tag but the tag is also important i feel like these days we underestimate the importance of the tag and today i just want to give you guys like some reasons why this the tag is so important this is for the guys so you understand that when you've been dating a girl for like five six months or you guys have been seeing each other and then she's asking where is this going what are we doing these are some reasons why she would be asking that question and this is to help you guys understand us ladies a bit more and the first and most obvious reason for the tag is the sense of security is the sense of you know he's my boyfriend no random girl can just come and step to me and be like oh i'm sleeping with him da, 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 da. and then your mouth is just shut and then you don't have the right to talk that sense you get that sense of you know that sense of security that okay i'm his and his mine and you know exactly what it is when you're with somebody you're more secure kind of because you know if the person fucks up the person is accountable to you this more or less ties into my second point a sense a sense of um entitlement right like it gives you the right do you understand for example if you're seeing a guy and then you're complaining about him talking to other girls and texting this girl and you don't like her to, the guy can come up to you and be like, yo, but you're not my girlfriend though. Like, even if you guys are fucking, even if you guys are seeing each other and he had, the, you guys have both admitted to having feelings for one another. If he's not your boyfriend and stuff like that, the guy can still come. And you know, we know that guys, we know that guys do these things. The guy can still come up and be like, yeah, you're not my girlfriend. You don't have the right to. Or if you're complaining to the guy that he's not doing something right, he's like, well, I'm single and you're not my girlfriend. Man, my sister, when you have that tag, at least you know that if you're opening your mouth to complain, you have the right to open your mouth to complain. If you're not his girlfriend and you're opening your mouth to yourself, you'll be thinking that, man, do I have the right to complain to this guy, man? I don't want him to now say that, oh, eh, you know, stressing him and putting pressure on him. You'll not decide that he wants to leave. Let him go. So it does give you that sense of entitlement. That's that right the right to it gives you in quotes the right to do certain stuff the right to ask certain questions the right to demand certain things if you're his girlfriend also having a title to your relationship gives you like a sense of direction to an extent for example if you guys are seeing each other but it's not defined you wouldn't start talking about marriage at least if i was in that situation I wouldn't now all of a sudden start talking about marriage if we haven't even gotten to the boyfriend and girlfriend stage. So I feel like, you know, when there's a title, when there's like a title to your to your relationship, it gives the relationship like a sense of direction. I've mentioned three things, three important things, you know, that having this tag gives you. There are obviously other ones as well, but yeah, that's all I have to mention today. 
if you guys are so far you guys are comfortable with what you're doing so far both of you know where you're headed it's fine there is no need to like define the relationship if you don't want to define it because i've met some people that are not in defined relationships and both know exactly what is going on and are comfortable with it and it's going good for them so it's not like by force for the relationship to be defined it's just that when the relationship is defined they're just they're just perks that come with being in a defined relationship i would say so guys when a girl starts asking you what are we where are we going where are we headed these are some of the reasons why she would be asking that question because you know she's trying to establish the fact that she has the right to hold you accountable for your actions if that makes sense so yeah it shouldn't really be anything for you guys to shy away from um and ladies if you feel like you need to ask that question do ask that question i always say that so um yeah yeah, I don't really think I have anything to add to it. If you guys agree or disagree with my points, let me know. Let us know what you let me know what you think, you know, about this topic. Let me know what you think about the issue of being of having a tag to your relationship. You know, you can add me on Twitter, comment below in the description box, you know, Facebook me, let me know what you think and you know, yeah. Also I would like to know what you guys would like to hear on the vlogs because yeah it's not just about what i feel i want to know what you guys want me to talk about as well so whatever you guys want to know on the vlogs let me know whatever you guys want to hear on the vlogs any just any issues or topics you want me to discuss on the to discuss on the vlog let me know message me tweet me and whatever way you feel like you need to communicate with me please feel free i also have to say oh yes guys please don't forget to subscribe to my channel like share you know share the love share the d fever um yeah um and hopefully, I hope to see you guys next week or in two weeks with the second part of this series. Okay, stay blessed guys. Take care. Peace and love.